Oh, good morning, YouTube family. How you doing? Good morning. All right, here's the deal. It's a busy day, crazy day. It's Friday, and if you've been watching the vlog a long time, you know that my oldest son is in uh, kindergarten. So he's graduating today from kindergarten. So we're zipping out the door here in a few minutes uh, to go to that. And so, but before that, I'm putting away shoes from yesterday's running warehouse haul. If you are intrigued by race trail racing shoes, you should go watch it because I talk about these new. Oh my goodness, Solomon S Lab Sense 7 SGs. Uh, in addition, I'm packing today to go film the Dirty 30 50K tomorrow. This is the race where I crashed and burned at the finish line last a year ago. It's crazy. And so anyway, I can't obviously race this year, but I'm going to go cheer and film and have a good old time at the Dirty 30 50k. So anyway, hope you're doing well. Oh, and we're going to talk about the elite runners later today. So, oh man. All right, let's see, see if we can find a spot for these. Oh goodness. Okay. By the way, just thanks for being you and just being here and watching every day, or at least, you know, I know you can't watch every day sometimes, but once a week, twice a month, whatever it is, like, I just appreciate you taking the time to click on that thumbnail and, uh, have a little listen as to what I have to say. It's crazy. So appreciate you taking your take because I know your time is valuable. Very, very valuable. All right, let's do this. so cool I'm starting to get different iterations back to back so like the speed cross four the speed cross five someday the speed cross six so I'm not gonna throw away or give away a lot of running shoes in the future unless I just really don't need them or don't like them and I I don't plan to analyze them in the future but imagine having the the Solomon S lab sense six seven someday the eight nine ten and maybe even I can find on eBay like the five and the four. Anyway, I'd say it's really going to be important for uh, analyzing these shoes down the road. Anyway, now I'm just geeking out. All right, come on. back from graduation. Oh, it's so fun to see the kindergartners just beaming with uh, pride and joy and like they're just they're just trying to figure out the world. Oh, so anyway, proud of you, Joseph. Love you. Great job crushing your kindergarten year of school. It's just the beginning. Dream big, right? That's my message to all the kindergartners out there and especially Joseph. Dream big. Never stop dreaming. All right, folks, I got to keep this vlog a little shorter because I'm waking up at 4 a.m tomorrow yes to go film another race and you can probably hear my voice i'm a little i don't know if it's allergies or head cold uh, just took some ibuprofen and that seems to be helping but anyways we're gonna keep this a little shorter and here we go are you ready for this look at this uh oh my goodness so uh i'm not saying this was the most legal purchase i ever made but hold on where is it let me just find them here uh, I think it's in the back. Basically, this is a case with a bunch of, of my DVDs. You can see uh, The Hobbit, Casino Royale, Catch Me If You Can, and uh, okay, but let's go to the back where the good stuff is. Here we go. Oh, actually, someday I will show you this. This is a, a, a DVD, obviously, that I filmed, a, a little movie that I filmed for the CU Cross Country team in 2006 when we won the NCAA championship. Uh, I have never shown you footage from this, so I will show this to you someday. Today is not that day. Instead, we're going way further back into the archive. That is right. Oh my gosh, there's so many... Can you tell I've been I've been making videos and films for a long since I was in middle school. It's just it's destiny. 
destiny, right? You just got to find that passion in this world and run toward it with all your vigor, no matter the obstacles or challenges like an injury that might get in your way. All right, so here we go. In the back, one second. I'm almost there. Ah, there we go. Here are some of them. So basically, <clears throat> I purchased, this is before, oh, hold on. So I purchased in 2004, when I was a senior in high school, going into call, my freshman year of college, eBay was around. But guess what was not around? YouTube. That's right. YouTube launched in 05, okay? 2005. In 2004, I bought like a dozen DVDs off of eBay. Not sh I'm not saying it was legal, but I bought them. And basically, these are, it's old archive footage I think it was I'm just gonna say it I think it was somebody in the UK and uh, they shipped the DVDs over to me I don't remember exactly how much I paid but I think it was well over $150 so look at this Steve Prefontaine Jim Jim Ryan so this is footage Steve Cram oh my goodness it gets better hold on so this is old race footage and this is like I'm still a geek uh, when it comes to racing and running but this is how I kind of taught myself about the old school elite runners out there and heck why not I'm just gonna throw it out there right now the question of the day Seb Co, Jim Ryan, uh, Saeed Ayuda, uh, Ovet oh my goodness and then the super milers anyway question of the day um, <clears throat> who is your favorite old school long distance runner so anything any any racer above 1500 meters and let's put the cap at 19 let's say 1985 if you want to go up to 1990 that's okay too but let's try and keep it like before 1985 i was born in 1985 that's why that number popped in my head anyone before then who's your favorite elite distance runner of the the 50s the 60s you could go even further back if you want but the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, uh, that would be cool to hear. And okay, let's jump in. I'm going to throw some DVDs into this computer, see if we can't watch it's just some of this old school footage. Give, give you a little commentary, if you will. Oh, man. Kicking it off with Pre. Kicking it off with Pre. Here we go. Yes, I think it's gonna work. Look how old school this is. I love it. I love it. We got the NCAA mile. We got the NCAA cross country championships. The Olympic, the 1972 5,000 meters in the Olympics. This is amazing. I don't think there's any audio. There he is, pre finishing the cross country championships. Again, I have no clue how I got a hold of this footage, but I've got it. And, uh, oh man. All right, so these DVDs are so old, and I don't know exactly what the file format is. The computer's having a tough time at reading the files, so I, I have a DVD player, so we will fire these up again very soon. Watch some of these old school races, uh, the 1980 Olympics with Sebco, uh, gosh, all of these great, just great historical running races with great runners. And 
I don't know if I had to choose one I would I would put Jim Ryan I, I got to do a little more research and thinking but Jim Ryan just breaking four minutes the first American that was pretty special back in the 60s so he and I grew up uh, watching a documentary on Jim Ryan so he's kind of got a, a close connection to my running heart so uh, but I'll be curious to hear your uh, answers to the question of the day and if you were born after 1995 who knows maybe you cannot answer this question of the day and that's okay too this is we're talking old school runners can't wait to hear your answers and keyword I almost forgot um, eBay that's right eBay thank you eBay um, anyway <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe I got these and now YouTube. Oh my goodness. It's just crazy. It's crazy. All right seek beauty work hard and Love each other See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It'll be a fun day tomorrow. Come back now. Come back now